Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time scenarios or DevOps real-time question. Now this series contains a lot of questions that may be asked in a DevOps interview or you can face in your real-time situation. All right. So before moving further in this video, I would like to request that if you're not subscribed to the channel and you are hearing me for the first time, kindly subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let us understand the question today. Okay, so let us understand what exactly is the problem statement. So the problem statement says that you have to install Jenkins on any VM. It could be any kind of server. So basically you have to create a Jenkins server. You have to use Ansible for that. And then you have to use AWS console for that. So these are the three things that is given to you as a problem statement. Now your manager has asked you that this is something that we needs to achieve, but there are a few conditions, okay. So in those conditions, you have to pick four of them. Four condition has to be picked and you have to give the reasons why exactly you are picking all four of them. So which of these will help you in achieve the task and then you have to rule out everything. Okay, so let us talk about the conditions. So the first condition is minimum one EC2 instance that you need. Second is minimum two EC2 instances that you need. Third is Ansible Java based. Fourth is Ansible Python based. Fifth is that you need to create a playbook for it. Six, do you need a YUM module in the machine? Seventh is IAM user configuration that you have to do or not. Eighth is 228080, are, are we going to enable these ports or not? And if you're going to enable whether it would be 228080 or 2280. And the last option is, damn it, I am leaving this job. I don't want to work for this company. So these are the options that you can choose. All right, so pause the video over here, write down all these conditions and try to think of and whenever you are done, feel free to match what I what I am going to tell you in this answer. All right. So I'll be waiting for you for 10 seconds and then I'll be jumping to the solution. Okay. Okay. I'm back again. So I hope you have thought about it and let's talk about the solution. So I'll select the green color. So when we talk about the solution, we'll go one by one. Okay. So minimum one EC2 instance. So here two instances are required as one is master system and another one is agent system basically. So there are two required. Okay. So minimum one EC2 instance required? No. Minimum we require two. So this has to be the answer. Okay. So we have eliminated one. Let's write one over here. This has been eliminated and I have to give you an example of it. So whenever you create a Jenkins master agent art architecture, let us understand what exactly is a master and an agent architecture. So basically we have two machines, one machine, this, this would be a one server, this would be the agent and this would be connected through SSH. Okay. This will keep track of all the jobs that are running over here. And we do generally this to uh, distribute the workload. So that's why in an ideal scenario, we would be needing two VMs. So basically two EC2 instance over here. Now people can say that we can make this master as an agent as well. Yes, you can do it, but we are talking about the best practices over here. And this is the best practice. At least you should have two VMs in which one would be the master and the other one would be agent. All right. So this is known as master agent architecture or master slave architecture. Okay. So that's why we have eliminated one and two is the minimum requirement. Okay. Then Ansible Java based and Ansible Python based. Ansible is based on Python. So you would be needing this and you cannot do this. So we have eliminated three. So remember this folks, in order to solve this question, you must be having information about playbooks, about Ansible, uh, an idea that how things are done. And then you would be able to answer it that Ansible is a Python based. You need a Python based system. You need to install Python in the system in order to work on Ansible. This won't work on Java as of now today. I mean, in future, if they come up with any other solution that is Java based, then it would be great. But as of now on today's like 13th of December, 2022, and this is the solution for now. Okay. So we have eliminated three. Let's talk about the fifth one. So fifth one, you need a playbook. Yes, obviously you need a playbook. Why? Because that's where you're going to write your code. That's where you're going to write your script that will run and create an infrastructure for you. All right. So this would be the answer. 
Now let's go to six YAM module. Obviously, we assume that the server would be created in Linux. Uh, we are not talking about Windows over here. So if we are doing YAM, then we need a YAM module in that because we need to install and update a lot of stuff. So uh, I think if it is Red, Red Hat based, CentOS based, then I think you need YAM. Otherwise, you if you are using Ubuntu, you can get apt get that you need to install using this. Okay, so you need a YAM module over here. So this is correct. Okay, let's move on to the seventh one. IAM user configuration. Now, do you need this? Let's 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 think about it. What exactly happens is configuration of IAM user here is not necessary because you do not need to launch the EC2 instance directly using a root user. So you do not need this. So let us remove that. And this is not needed. You do not need an IAM user because if everything is in the ecosystem, in the AWS ecosystem, it is going to create on its own. Uh, I mean, your playbook would be having full access and it is going to work on installation part and everything is in the ecosystem. So you not need IAM user. Okay, so this is eliminated. So one, three and seven are eliminated over here. Okay, let's move on. Now, eighth option is port 22 and port 800 has to be enabled. Do we need both of them? First of all, let us understand why do we need port 22. So we are talking about two ports over here, port 8080 and port 22. So port 8080 is default port for Jenkins. Okay, so default port for Jenkins. And uh, I mean, you can go to Jenkins file, uh, I think it's settings.xml or configs, uh, Jenkins config file, there you can make the changes and change it, but by default is 8080. So we need this, right? Yes, we need this. Now we talk about 22. So 22 is basically your SSH port. Okay, SSH means secure shell. So I'll write it down secure shell. If you want to read about more about this, just Google. So what it exactly does, it allows the communication from, so basically it's for communication only and allows remote administration access to the VM. So in general, traffic is encrypted using password authentication. So I was telling about you this, right? Master and agent, and they are connected through SSH. They talk to each other using SSH communication. So it's basically for encrypted using password authentication. So this is why do you need 22 and 8080. So if you need 22 and 8080, you do not need this. So I'll just remove this. So ninth one is removed and we need this. And 10th is whenever you have resolved everything. So you do not have to quit your job and you can keep your job and this is not needed. So I'll just cross it out. So I hope you folks have understood it. The solution should be one, three, seven and nine. I'll reiterate the question for you again so that you can remember. Problem statement is you have to install Jenkins on a VM. You have to basically create a Jenkins server. You have to use Ansible for that and you can use AWS console. Okay, condition are that you have to use any four tasks of these and this will help you achieve the task, uh, whatever your manager, whatever your team lead has given you and you have to eliminate everything that is not needed. So the first one was minimum one EC2 instance that we have eliminated. Why do we have to eliminate this? Because we need minimum two EC2 instances for creating a master slave or a master agent architecture. The third one, Ansible. Ansible is not Java based. We do not need that. We have to use Python based and we need to create a playbook. This playbook will have all the instructions written to install the stuff. Then you have to need use YUM module in the VM. We are assuming that it's a Linux VM. And then IAM user configuration, you do not need that because uh, you basically it's not needed over here. And then you have to open 22 and 8080. 8080 is default port for Jenkins and 22 is the SSH port. You have to keep it open. And then once this is done, this is not needed and you don't have to quit your job. So that's how the solution works. I want you to Take a note of this, draw this diagram in your pen and paper and understand how this solution works. All right. So I hope you folks have understood everything. If there is anything, if there is any confusion, please feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one.